Hello everyone, this is Gorkam. I hope you can hear me well. And today I'm gonna present our work with uh, Professor Tolga Elchin on the efficiency of RISC V cryptography instruction set extension. Let me go over on, on the outline. We, the basic methodology is that we implemented 11 cryptography algorithms by using integer instruction set of RISC V and by using integer plus crypto instructions and compare their uh, compare the results and see how efficient are they. First, I will introduce to 32-bit uh, scalar instructions in the cryptographic extension proposal. I will go quickly over the algorithm algorithms implemented. I will uh, show the software implementation highlights, and then Tolga is going to uh, speak on the performance comparison, hardware implementation results, and alternative instruction proposal. And at the end, we're going to get the questions. And yeah, as Ben said, we have two parts of the 32-bit scalar instructions, like bit manip extension that are borrowed and specific uh, algorithm, specific algorithm instructions. And on the 32-bit scalar instructions, we have uh, logical rotation instructions. We have logic bit negate instructions where they are the AND, OR, and XOR instructions where we get the complement, logical complement of the second instructions as shown on the diagram. And we have packing instructions where we take the 16 bit of uh, the RS2 register and RS1 register lower and upper and we take the lower bytes of the RS2 and RS1 register and we pack them onto RD, re RD register. Then we have crossbar uh, permutation instructions that which allow us to uh, reposition the nibbles and bytes in the RS1 register. We have bit and byte permutations where we basically apply the generalized reverse operation, first three stage of generalized reverse operation and last two uh, stage of generalized reverse operation where we can reverse the bit order of each byte or we can reverse the byte order in 32 bit register. We have zip and unzip instructions where we apply the all the stages of unshuffle for unzip and shuffle for zip instructions. This shuffle instruction is described in bit manipulation is instruction set. We have carry less multiply. I think some some of you ask about this. We have carry less multiply where the it is a normal multiplication operation where the uh, and multiplication of operation is the end and addition operation is the XOR operation. We have specific AES instructions to accelerate uh, AES algorithm. The details about these instructions can be found uh, on the paper called the design of scalar AES instruction set extension for RISC-V from Ben Marshall and his colleagues. And we have SHA-2 acceleration instructions for SHA-256 and SHA-512. They implement, implement the, the functions of SHA-256 and SHA-512 instructions to accelerate these algorithms. And same thing, we have SM3, the, the algorithm, and SM4 algorithm. Let me go all over the go over the algorithms we have eight block ciphers and three hash functions which are like sha uh, algorithms and i think most of you are familiar with the aes it is 128 bit uh block cipher with three different key sizes key sizes the number of rounds are changing based on the key sizes and this is the structure of the aes algorithm and again, SIT is the 128-bit uh, block cipher with two versions where we can use extended S-boxes to accelerate the algorithm. It is using the phase uh structure as shown 
on the diagram. And decryption algorithm is identical to encryption algorithm, but we perform the perform it in the reverse order. And Camellia is 128 bit block cipher with three different key sizes, and it is using four four S boxes. S boxes where the S box two three four can be implemented by using S box one, and you can see the structure of the algorithm. And Misty one is a sixty four bit uh, block cipher block cipher with a fixed one hundred and twenty eight bit key. It is using two S boxes and it has variable number of rounds where the eight not eight round version is recommended. You can see the structure here on the block diagram. And CAST is another 64-bit algorithm, a block cipher. It is using a variables 4228-bit key sizes. It has 8 eight bit in, 32-bit out S boxes. There are that this is like 8K bytes uh, S boxes, and you can see the structure of the algorithm here. It is using non-identical three different F function instead of fix. And height is 64-bit block, ci block cipher with 128-bit key. It doesn't use any S-box, and it has 32 rounds. You can see the structure of the alg algorithm here. Uh, decryption algorithm is identical to encryption algorithm, but some of the addition operations are replaced with subtraction operations and we change the key order on the decryption algorithm. Triple DES is one of the most popular uh, block ciphers uh, out there, and it is basically using three times the DES, DES algorithm. On the, encryption, on the encryption side, we are using DES encryption, decryption, DES encryption in a row. And on the decryption, we reverse the order and we use the DS decryption, encryption, and decryption. And you see the F function that we that we use in the phase that structure, and we have initial and inverse permutations. And present is 64-bit lightweight block cipher. It uses 80 bit or 128 bit key sizes. It has one really really tiny s box and it is using 32 uh 32 rounds and we the decryption is encryption in reverse order and you can see the structure of the algorithm on the block diagram for the sha 256 and sha 512 are really similar to each other they are using uh, almost the identical identical functions where the rotate functions, rotate and shift functions are 32 bit for SHA-256 and 64 bit for 512. And we have different block sizes and different number of rounds for SHA-256 and SHA-512. And we have SHA-3-256, which is, which is more complicated than SHA-2, previous SHA-2 instructions. And it is using a sponge constructions where it has an absorbing and squeezing stage. And it basically performs set of permutation instructions that are described in the block diagram in a row for a number of rounds. And for the software implementation highlights, we I want to talk about present. This is the entire S box layer or S layer of the present that we implemented by using X permutation and instruction from the crypto and X or X instruction from the in in integer set. And as you can see, it is quite, quite small and we use the unshuffle instruction and end instruction and uh, rotate instructions to implement, implement the P layer for the present. Uh, in the crypto crypto proposal, we only have fifteen. Uh, we only have fifteen uh, unshuffled instruction with immediate value fifteen, but we use 
14 here to show that oh we can actually use the 14 we have a we can use it like we have areas to use it and on the block diagram on the table you can see the total number of instructions executed for p layer and s layer by using only integer uh integer set and using integer set plus crypto and you can see the gain we got by using these instructions and these are the these are the standard usages we can use like instead of three instructions 32 bit rotate by using default instruction set we can use we can use only single instructions and this is like three times less instruction and we can use such a redu reduction for memory address calculation as well by using XPERM and instructions. This memory address calculation is quite common in block ciphers because almost all of them are using uh, S boxes. S boxes and we are we should read them from the memory. So this is really useful. And I will let Tolga to talk about uh, performance comparison and alternative instruction proposal now. Yes, Tolga. Oh, can you hear me? It looks like um uh looks like we need to change Tolga to a panelist, please, Deb. Yes, she, there like, he is. There he is. Excellent. So you can um, unmute and your video. There you go. Okay, great. So let me share my screen. Oh, I, actually, I'm sharing. Like, if you want to go from here. Ah, it's okay. So basically, uh, we want to continue. So okay, thank you, Gurkham. So uh, Okay, so as you can see, I mean, the blue lines, the blue bars are the default implementations with the default instructions and the red ones are the implementations with the cryptographic instruction sets. So there are two points uh, that I have to point out here. One is we uh, basically implemented the standard uh, ciphers. So we, why we go, for example, with Prince or Pr Pride or some other things, these are the either ISO standards or NIST standards. And then uh, there's another thing I want to point out here is, as Gyorkam said, the cryptographic instruction set is still uh, evolving and some instructions are added, some instructions are remote from the proposal. And in several of the instructions, for example, like unshuffle, uh, grail, gork, et cetera, the, if I started with all the possible uh, parameter sets in originally, now the propo uh, in the proposal, the committee has removed several of those configurations and they just limited use of, for example, unshuffle 15 only, et cetera. In our implementations, we start to the original uh, unlimited instruction sets or parameter sets why? Because basically we implemented all of these uh, in so hardware also, the instruction set extensions, and implemented in a different way. And you saw that basically there are there is no increase in the area with respect to a limited parameter set or unlimited parameter set. That's why we uh, use them. And as you, the mo another interesting thing uh, you can see here in this graph is. As you see in some of the ciphers, for example, in height or in case or misty, the difference is really small. There's not much difference. However, for example, in AES, the difference is uh, huge, which is to be expected because the instructions that a proposal has AES uh, specific instructions. But also in like seed, et cetera, you can see the same effect. Uh, could you move to the next slide, okay? And again, with SHA-1, sorry, SHA-2, you can see the uh, 
decrease in the total number of cycles is huge. But in SHA-3, basically, we didn't include it because it was really, really very small. And in terms of area, uh, next slide, Gökhan. Okay. Um, okay. So in terms of area, uh, default RV32 implementation, this is our own implementation, five pipeline stages, etc. It's just 19 K gates, whereas the crypto plus the bit manipulation instructions has at another 8K gates. So the question is, is it worth it to implement all of these? I think so. And again, uh, is it worth it other than for algorithms other than AES, Shuttle, the standard algorithms, for example, if you just come up with a new uh, lightweight algorithm, uh, does this crypto instruction set bring any uh, additional advantage? Then we have to look here, uh, we didn't include that uh, graph. I'm sorry for that. We have to look at how much of this cryptographic instruction set is really for the bit manipulation and how much is for AES shadow specific instructions. Out of these eight K gates, uh, almost six K gates, five point some K gates is for AES plus SHA specific instructions. Where is only less, uh, slightly more than two gates, K gates is for bit manipulation instructions. And the next slide, you can please. Uh, we then started looking, and this is still in progress, by the way, starting to alternative instruction. As you can see, we can just combine some instructions like uh, shift and add instructions. If we had only a single instruction, a special load instruction for those load by load hardware or load word instructions, then you can see these uh, brown bars we can still gain some things, but then we are also looking, uh, next slide, Peter. looking into some sort of metric manipulation instruction, which will basically remove all the grave, unshuffled, et cetera, instructions, then we will be left with only XPERM instructions for the S factors and matrix load, matrix multiply instructions for the rest, for all kinds of bit manipulations. Then uh, depending, on the algorithm again, for example, in present, it brings no advantage, but in a uh, matrix manipulation type of, uh, matrix manipulation heavy implementation like Prince or Pride, it really goes even much lower than the uh, standard cryptographic instructions there with only 800 additional gates. Uh, you still need two additional registers to store the matrix or you can use, you can just dedicate one, uh, two of the editors to general purpose registers for uh, special registers to store the matrix value. And then you just use this eight by eight matrix value to do either a byte multiply within RS2, add the result on RS1 and add the result on RS2, or uh, a second instruction where matrix multiply word where you divide you the uh, whole per bit word into eight nibbles, and then this is an eight by eight multiplication again. So you just uh, manipulate the nibble places. And uh, as I said, this is still a in progress work. We are still working on the finalized results from the risk five, uh, from the sorry, uh, NIST uh, life eight crypto competition. We shall, over the summer, we shall also release our results with the default instruction set with, I mean, there are some already implementation on it, with uh, proposed crypto, uh, proposed bit manipulations instructions and our matrix manipulation instructions over those ciphers as well. And I think this is the last slide. If you have questions, please let us know. And thanks for listening.